Hello guys and welcome to my introduction video of CSS which stands for Cascading Style Sheets Now think of a website this way Let's take this one for example Let's take the word counter program and open it So, uh, HTML is used for uh, making every single thing that you see on the site For example, this over here, this text box and these paragraphs, uh, this input where you can input numbers, and these buttons. Now CSS is used for styling these. So if these buttons were not styled, they wouldn't have a gray background. So CSS is kind of like making the interior, uh, think of a website as a house. The HTML is the structure and the CSS is, is the interior and design. So we're gonna get into that in this episode. However, first I'm gonna create a new folder that's gonna be called my CSS course. There we go. And then a new file that's gonna say index.html. This is going to be the index file. Index is usually the main file or the home page, and then I'm gonna make a style.css. So the .css tells the computer that this file contains cascading style sheet code, CSS code. However, we are not ready yet. We can in VS Code, if you're using Visual Studio Code, you can type an exclamation mark and press tab. That will create all the necessary uh, text uh, for a website and also the normal HTML syntax. And that is discussed in, the, in my HTML course. Anyways, this is gonna be the, I'm gonna name the title CSS course. So yeah, this video is gonna be an introduction to CSS. Now, what do we have to do next? The next thing we have to do is link the style sheet to our index file. So right now if I would make some uh, changes in the style.css file, nothing would happen. But I got a link, rel means relation or relationship, and this is gonna be a style sheet, and href is going to search for the location of the file. And Visual Studio Code will help you a little bit with that, so there's style.css. And then remember to add a closing tag greater greater than. Okay, so now we got our CSS linked onto this page. Now I'm gonna show you some easy examples on the introduction, and from there we will go on. I will be recording the HTML and CSS courses at the same time because they kind of go hand in hand. So yeah, let's get started. So yeah, CSS, Cascading Style Sheets, is the language we use to style an HTML document, so it's a completely other language. There's, a, there's three ways to use CSS, uh, I'm gonna show you them all, and CSS describes how the HTML elements should be displayed on the web page. For example, now our page is empty. I'm gonna show you the first way to style an element. Let's make an h1 element and that will say introduction to CSS. Alright, so one way to style an element is to make an attribute here. Style equals double quotes and then we can write some CSS code. For example, uh, if I want the text to be, let's say, blue I can set color colon blue semicolon. There we go, and it's blue. And then I can set other styles here, for example, text uh, dash decoration colon underline and semicolon. So, yeah, that's exactly what happened over there. Now, with CSS, you get a lot of trial and error. You might not be able to get what you want on your first try, so you might have to try many many times to get the final result, and that's completely normal. Now, CSS, uh, it's a rather easy language, 
If you want to, for example, know how to do the text decoration underline, but you cannot remember this property, you can search for it online. You can type in, for example, how to make a text underlined in CSS and you will find the answer from Google pretty fast. Okay, let's get on. Now that we have linked this file onto our uh, index.html file, we can use this to actually make some changes. I'm gonna show you one of the most important ones and it's an asterisk. The asterisk means that, that this will select every single element on the page, all the HTML elements, and then use curly brackets. Now, for example, I can set margin to be zero, padding to be zero as well. Now, normally, uh, paragraphs and headings and all kinds of text, uh, they have a little bit of margin and padding. So if you want to add your own margin and padding, then you should use the asterisk, which selects every single element and makes them have zero margin and zero padding. Now you might be wondering what is padding and what is margin. Well, let me, sh let me show you. I'm gonna make a box by div class box I'm not gonna type anything in actually let's type box all right so now we can take the class attribute and type in dot class curly brackets and we can for example make the height 100 pixels width 100 pixels and then we can make the background dash color pink. And it doesn't seem to change anything. Ah, I named uh, class box. There we go. Now we have a pink box on the page. So I'm going to show you what is margin. If I say margin colon 10 pixels, it's going to add space to the outside of the element. So I'm gonna show you how this looks like in DevTools, developer tools in Google Chrome. So here we are, this is our current web website. Now, you can right click, click uh, the bottom link, It's it says inspect, if you're using English, and here we can see all the HTML, as you guys can see. Now we can select this div, which we just created, and then go to the computed da tab right over here. Now this will show us the uh, properties of this element. So it's 100 pixels times 100 pixels large, no padding, no border, and 10 pixels of margin. Now what if I was to go ahead and add some padding? padding colon 10 pixels semicolon that is gonna change it a little bit and I'm gonna show it to you so you just go here and then open dev tools again now you can see that here's the main content 100 pixels times 100 pixels then there's padding space on the inside of the element no border and then there's margin space outside of the element so yeah those are the two most important things for now so margin equals space outside of an element padding is space inside and there we go and I also showed you how to make a comment in CSS. You can use a slash and an asterisk and asterisk and slash. If you don't end the comment, now everything I'd write here, if I, for example, wanna make some changes to the H1 title I have, it's, it's not gonna do anything because this is green. It's a comment. So remember to add an asterisk a forward slash. That's a way how to make comments in CSS for yourself or other developers. Alright, so I have shown you two, two ways to style 
uh, pages with CSS and there's still a third way. So the first one is to make a CSS file which is the best way. Then is, uh, there's the style attribute, you can use that. And the third option is to go inside the head element of your HTML and create a style element. Here we go. And now let's create a new item, for example paragraph and I'm going to show you IDs. Let's set ID to be my P1, P standing for paragraph. Let's say hello. Okay, then we can go to the style and to select an ID we gotta use hashtag. Hashtag my P1 and remember to write the ID or class always as it is set in the HTML. Then curly brackets once again. Now we can say uh, color red for example and it will change the color to be red. If we add some margin it will make the uh, I mean it will add space to the outside of the element, for example 25 pixels. There we go. Now the text moved a little bit. Alright, then I can also do background color, let's set it to be pink. And uh, paragraphs are known as block level elements. They will take everything from the web page, I mean from side to side except we added a little bit of margin so there's gonna be 25 pixels here and 25 pixels here on the right and the left side if I remove this it's gonna go across the entire view viewport okay what about March I mean padding let's say padding 10 pixels now the line is a little bit thicker and we added space to the inside uh, one more useful trick I could use in this example is uh, if you have a block level element like a paragraph which takes up the space of the entire web website you can for example have an issue where you have more text here but you would like these to be next to each other uh, one way you can do that is to go here and then you can make display colon inline dash block now that will make the uh, uh, paragraph with the ID my p1 to only take as much space as it requires it's no longer taking all the space in the uh, y I mean the x axis of the web page and now we can also add a ID or class here. Classes are usually used for CSS. Let's add an a, a class of my P2. And now we gotta use a dot. Dot selects a class, my P2. Curly brackets. And let's make the color green. Background color yellow. And display colon inline block and now they are appearing side to side also let's add padding of 10 pixels and now they look like this they are next to each other there's also also different kinds of ways to make this same kind of layout and I will show them in some later episodes when we get to a little more advanced state of CSS but yeah this is the introduction uh, I hope you got something out of this and I wish you luck for your new learning journey have a wonderful day and happy learning guys